Welcome folks on YouTube. I want to talk some more about symmetric groups. So SN is the symmetric group of all n factorial permutations on the set of numbers from one up to n. And why does it form a group? It forms a group because you can compose any two permutations to get a third. Um, where's n factorial coming from? Well, um, I'll explain it in the particular case of S4 when n is equal to four right now. So as a first example, let's write down all four factorial or 24 permutations in the group S4. In advance, the way I can see that there's gonna be four factorial or 24 permutations is as follows. So four factorial, if you'll remember, is four times three times two times one, which is indeed 24. And the way you think about this is in a permutation, I have four different places where I could map one. Then once I've chosen where to map one, three choices remain for where I could map two. Then wherever I choose to map two, only two choices remain for where I could map three. And then once I've chosen where three goes, only one choice remains for where I map four. And the number of choices gets multiplied because you're not just making one choice and then you're done. You have to make the first choice where to map one. And then after you choose that, you need to make the second choice where you're gonna map two. And then after you make that, you have to make this third choice where to map three, etc. Okay. But we're just going to write down all 24 permutations in a more organized fashion. So I'm going to copy and paste this a bunch of times. I'm going to draw my permutations there. Okay, so here I'm going to draw four of my 24 permutations. And then we'll draw eight and then this will get us up to 12. And then we're gonna draw all 24 permutations. Okay, <laughs> a daunting array. So the first permutation that I think is the, the easiest is just the identity permutation. Okay. From now on, maybe I won't, I won't necessarily draw all of the arrows that just go straight down. If I leave an arrow undrawn, you could think of that as going straight down. So next we'll look at the transpositions. We could transpose one and two. We can transpose one and three. We could transpose one and four. Okay. And what I mean by this is I'm only drawing the transpositions that that don't go straight down. So maybe I'm omitting these sort of arrows that just go straight down. So that was one swapped with two, three, or four. We could also swap two with three, or we could swap two with four. I didn't consider two swapped with one because I already have that here. And then I could could consider three swapped with four. All right. So that's all six of my single transpositions. I then have pairs of transpositions. So I could do things like swap one and two while I swap three and four at the same time. Or I could swap one and three while I swap two and four at the same time, or I could swap one and four while I swap two and three at the same time. So those last three permutations, I would call, um, you know, products of disjoint chance positions. I had, I had two disjoint chance positions, like one and two and three and four, they were disjoint. They didn't have anything to do with each other, but then I do them both. All right, 
let's get into cycles of length three. So a cycle of length three would be one goes to two, two goes to three, and then three goes back to one. Four stays put. I could also do this in the opposite order. So the same three elements are cycling, but instead of one going to two and two going to three, send one to three and three to two. So send one to three, three to two, and two to one. And four stays put. So that were those were my two three cycles on one, two, three. Let's consider three cycles all on all other pairs of <laughs> let's also consider the three cycles on all other triples of three elements. So let's look at the three cycles on one, two, and four. So I could set one to two, two to four, four to one, three stays put, or the reverse order, one to four, four to two, two to one, three sp stays put. Let's look at the two, th three cycles on one, three, and four. So one to three, three to four, four back to one, or in the reverse order, one to four, four to three, three back to one. You can check when I do three cycles in the reverse order, they're inverses of each other, right? Because if I send one to three and then three back to one, I get back to where I started and same for all the other elements. And then I also have three cycles on two, three, and four. So I could do two to three, three to four, four back to one, or in the opposite order, two to four, four to three, three back to two. Okay, and now let's get into four cycles. So these are cycles of length four. So I could set in one to two, two to three, three to four, and four back to one. So that was the four cycle, one, two, three, four, I would call it. Let's consider the four cycle, one, two, four, three. So I send one to two, two to four, four to three, three back to one. And now let's consider the four cycle, one, three, two, four, and one, three, four, two. So the four cycle, one, three, two, four, would look like this. One goes to three, which goes to two, which goes to four, which then goes back to one. And the four cycle, one, three, four, two, would go one goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to two, which then goes back to one. And lastly, I have my four cycles that start with one to four. So I have one goes to four, four goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to one, or one goes to four, four goes to three, three goes to two, and two goes back to one. So I think I did it. I think I successfully wrote down all 24 permutations in this group S4. In my next video, I'll explain um, the names of these permutations. But let me just write down the names right now to give you a preview. Oops. This permutation I'd call the identity. We'll be learning about cycle notation in which this permutation will be called the uh, transposition one, two. This will be the transposition one, three. This will be the transposition one, four. This will be the transposition two, three. And the transposition three, four. And the, oops, sorry, two, four. And then the transposition three, four. Now we get to pairs of transpositions. This will be the pair one, two, along with three, four. This is swapping one and three, while also swapping two and four. Here we're swapping one and four, while also swapping two and three. Now we get to the three cycles. This is the three cycle one, two, three. This is the three cycle one, three, two. We have the three cycle one, two, four. 
and the three cycle of one, four, two, the three cycle of one, three, four, and one, four, three, and the three cycles, two, three, four, and two, four, three. And now we have our four cycles, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, three, and then one, three, two, four, and our four cycle, one, three, four, two. And then lastly, our four cycles, one, four, two, three, and one, four, three, two. So in blue, those will be the actual names that people use for these permutations. Those are their names in what's called cycle notation, which we'll talk about next. Any public questions? Thanks so much.